I'm Susie Dingle. While visiting the Whatcom Creek Salmon Art Trail in Bellingham, Washington, I encountered something beautiful and extraordinary. This is the Salmon Woman Totem, created by the Lummi House of Tears Carvers in 1997. The story of Salmon Woman begins with Raven, who was a caring and loving leader of his people. Despite his best efforts, he could not find enough food for his people to eat, and they didn't know about the salmon living under the water at that time. Raven set out in a canoe all by himself to find more food, but found nothing, and the fog set in. It was then that Salmon Woman approached him, and Raven cared for her in his canoe. Because Raven was so respectful of her and caring for his people, she decided to offer her many salmon children as a gift and to marry Raven. I'll now synopsize from the Lummi Nation website that describes the revival of the first salmon ceremony. Salmon is and always has been vital to the Lummi people. Since time immemorial, they honored the salmon each year by holding a salmon ceremony to respect the gift that the salmon woman provides to them, the sacrifice of her salmon children, and to pass down the tradition of respect taught by their elders. In recent times, their traditional ways had been lost or supplanted by new ideas and attitudes. The bounty of salmon woman's gifts were taken for granted, and as their stories had warned, the salmon declined. In the 1980s, they revived their traditional ceremony to honor the return of the first salmon children each year and to show their gratitude. I find deep meaning and value in the stories and words of the Lummi people. The origin of the first salmon ceremony is not just a story of gratitude and respect. It teaches everyone about the spiritual significance of our actions. My simple interpretation of it here cannot do justice. Already written down by the carver, Jewel Praying Wolf James. He wrote the story of why all the salmon except the steelhead die after they spawn and why the Salmon Woman sent her salmon children away for part of the year. The annual ceremony is more than just a tradition. It is a necessary way to pass along the spiritual, moral, and ethical lessons and a time to reflect on the consequences of our actions, both individually and as a group. Also, to give abundant thanks. Many of you know I'm a writer, and as such, I look for common themes that unite humanity through shared experiences. On the top of my list is gratitude for the sacrifices made on our behalf, and gratitude for the gifts that flow from those sacrifices. I am grateful to the Lummi Nation for sharing the Salmon Woman with all of us. Please look for the informative links provided.